I'm Nick Ross, Director of the Audubon Summer Music Experience and Department Chair of the Department of Music at Audubon University. This camp came about because I'd had a similar camp in the past uh, in Virginia and saw what a great benefit it was for the students. This idea of synthesizing theory and history and intensive study of your instrument or voice or composition. The combination seems to synthesize in a, in a way that is surprising. And I've always found that students have made so much more progress after a week of a camp like this than maybe a month or two months of study individually just taking lessons in the one area. Part of it is the interaction with your peers and also other ways of thinking about things that you didn't have before. Hi there, I'm Steve Dornbush, and at the Audubon Summer Music Experience, I teach the musician's warm-up, improvisation for classical musicians, and a performance enhancement class. Um, I try to incorporate um, different elements of my classes into each other. In our um, musician's warm-up class, we're integrating all of our senses. We integrate our, our, our sense of sight, our sense of uh, hearing, our sense of touch, so that we can start to become more effective communicators as musicians. And improvisation is an interesting class. It's probably the most fun class for me to teach at the camp because in, in traditional Western music, um, improvisation was a very important part of performing. The goal of the improv class is really to allow performers to start to channel into their creativity, their expressiveness, their range of emotion, um, their ensemble playing skills. Uh, it can be very valuable for us as musicians. Traditionally, in a performance enhancement class, the objective is to conquer anxiety. And I like to take this a step further so that, of course, we're working on anxiety and controlling our nerves, but we're also making a connection with the audience rather than playing to them or being afraid of them. Jenny Merkowitz and I'm a professor of music theory and composition at Otterbein. Um, I teach a class called Digital Music and we work on figuring out how to make music with computers. That could be using a digital audio workstation like Logic Pro. Um, so they're really exploring sound and, and ways to put it together. I also teach the music theory class, more traditional um, building blocks of music, so learning how music is written down, um, how we put together things like intervals and chords and, and figuring out how is that piece put together, how is the structure of that piece um, or the sound of that piece um, really contributing to what, what makes it so powerful. camps for all ranges, all levels, and for wide interests as well. It's a wonderful opportunity for them to work with and meet other students who share their commitment and their passion for music. It's so rich being able to see students come together um, of similar minds and be able to spend time together for a week on our campus. The sense of community that you get from the students with the camp, you know, the relationships that you create with the faculty at the camp, those are things that you can't really take with you, but you're taking with you. It's amazing. It, it's, it takes a village, as they say. It's all of us teaching together that I think combined to do something. Um, the sum is better than the parts. The amount of progress that students make in the course of, you know, five or six days is kind of amazing. opportunity for them to raise their level of playing, to be exposed to new repertoire, to be exposed to new skills, and really grow as musicians. So we look forward to hearing from you.